I'm getting 2.5 mil cooking experience per hour right now. Everyone, Vjohnny C here with another old school RuneScape Trailblazer video. Today, I've got some exciting news for you, so stick through to the end. I do release my streaming schedule for you guys. We got a lot of stuff in this. I was going to break this up into two videos, but instead I decided to just cram it all into one video. So if you like it, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Drop me a sub. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's get into the content. So at this point, we're late into day two, maybe do day 2.5. I've got my stats up on the screen right there. My first 70 is 71 fishing. I fished a bunch of lobsters off stream while I was editing. Uh, I had about a thousand of them by the time that I finished editing. It was a uh, it was pretty good, pretty productive. So I don't have endless harvest and I don't have skilling prodigy. I did go with production master. Stats are are pretty good for a day 2.5. You know, I am sleeping on like a normal schedule at this point. I have maybe a day day and a half played maybe a little bit less, but the goals of today is ultimately Slayer. Can I make it to Gargoyles? Can I make it to Barrows? How far can I really go? There we go. Defeat Azar, nice. I probably should have uh, kept some inventory spaces open, but I'm sure I'll be eating. Reach 75 combat, nice. Man, we're just rolling in points already. The dragon daggers 20 to 25% more damage with the tier three melee relic than the dragon long. 131 left. I'm surprised more people aren't just doing this right here where they're teleporting back to re-up their prayer. It's so good, especially if you have piety. But like I said, we're a long way from that. There's my uncut ruby boys. All right, now I gotta go get crafting levels. Maybe this is instant. Okay, that's instant, that's fine. Realistically, the buckets of sand isn't that bad because I can get buckets of sand in Zanaris pretty easily. Yeah, it would be, it would be super good. Yeah, we got recall. I literally could just recall if I wanted to, but it doesn't matter. This one's close enough. And that just full inventory of cooking is, it's nice. Ooh, where am I going to get an amulet mold? Yeah, I'm going to have to kill Gunthar. One in 128. Yeah, I've seen the RPG elements of it. it. Honestly, a finally, God, yes. You know, it feels so good to just be able to kill something dumb like Gunther the Brave and get a stupid amulet mold, 102 kill count, just under drop rate. Make those balls of wool. Here we go, Ruby amulet. Craft a Ruby amulet, 50 points. And there we go. Strength Ami, boys. Big upgrades. And he drops a couple other things, too. You can get a Black Dehyde um, body as well there. Deranged Archaeologist. Oh, no way, bro. I got the Obby, mate. The Obby Mall. Hold on. Hold on. That's seven Kets killed. What is that? 30 KC? Look at this absolute savage. No, man, it's not a no. There's an 18, bro. I'm hitting 18, a 20. I'm pounding him. A four tick mall. Good Alks, but they're Alks. I mean, I got a 20K bank right now, so anything's good. 58 Slayer right there, bam. There's another uncut ruby too. All right, let's go get us a black mask. I'm at 180 K for KC after this one. We're approaching that uh, rate here pretty quick. Like it's effectively a 6% heal. I don't know if you guys have actually used blood fury, but uh, I don't use torture at top anymore. I will use blood fury hundred percent. Like, at least until I'm at the point of basically a perfect run, I think Blood Fury is still better. 
with the scythe that's amazing oh yeah quality of life and you don't lose dps for having to sip a pot you know show them what's up there's 75 strength hell yeah hey finally black mask guys we got it we finally got it 343 kill count trailblazer league <laughs> look at this chat right here hold on let me flex got to safe up because they hit pretty often since I don't have gear. Oh, there's the rings. I can't even use them. Why, man? That could have been an obby shield. Earn some Slayer points. There we go. Slayer task complete. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm going to keep one of these rings, but I'm going to out the rest because I think it's a task for one of the rings. They're really good, really, really good. But uh, without the range relic, they're pretty much useless. I'll burn through them so quick and we're done. Here's a rune play body boys. Big upgrades coming in hot. Look at this guy right here, Slayer Master. I think I might switch to defense around um, 80 strength. Nah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep training strength. Until I get a whip. Wow, this guy is a spoon. What the hell? I'm gonna unlock Asgarnia today. So, with unlocking Asgarnia, I'm going to get access to the Dragon Defender. I'll also get access to all of the tasks that are in Asgarnia, which is going to be pretty sweet. And as we do that, We'll unlock our tier four relic, which is going to give us a times 12 XP boost. And that's going to be pretty sweet. Can I actually use this? Need a spade to do that. Do I get farming? What? Hold on. There's free watermelons here on Harmony Island. I will most likely end up doing temple trekking uh while i'm doing these tasks just to just to get temple trekking done three different three different difficulty tracks is three quick tasks that's what i'm thinking quick and easy there we go right oh sweet there's a water talisman okay so i can do water runes hey there's my wizard robe easy okay there's wizard hat got that one that might be worth it hey ladies what's up man there's my mark of grace. We're out of here. Kill a wall beast. It's a task. Okay. Good idea. Should be pretty quick though. Dang. Wow. 50 points. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Catch it. Catch it. Come on. Sweet. There we go. That's a baby ambling. Only got 10 spots open, unfortunately. Hop, please. Eat my ass. On principle, I should have stayed. Okay, it's filled. Nice. We're done. Give me my 30 GP. Oh, yeah. So, unlock Asgarnia. Yep, we're unlocking, confirmed. Asgarnia, here we come. Look at that, nice. That's annoying. Did we win? Nice. Boom, and I'm done here. But I'm about to hit 100 KC. So I feel like this was a lengthy one, but finally I have the tier four relic unlocked. Treasure Seeker is a clue scroll related relic, similar to the Twisted League one, basically lowest number of steps possible, but clue scrolls aren't region locked. So you can get clue scroll steps that are elsewhere. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of Slayer and I really like the, the one in 25 chance for the superior Slayer creature to spawn and that, you know, they'll always drop a clue scroll, which is kind of cool. I, I won't do all of them, 
but the double amount of rolls on the lesser creatures drop table is pretty sweet and i get to choose my slayer task so that's the one i'm going with more importantly though we're getting we're moving from the eight times to 12 times xp rate which is super awesome really looking forward to seeing what this does for the xp rate so let's see how we go you guys are watching this thank you so much for making it to the end of the video i am live on twitch monday wednesday and saturday there will be a schedule in the discord and twitter if you know what's going on in this picture then you know that i will be doing barrows live all night tomorrow come check me out i've got about a four hour stream five hour stream going on twitch.tv slash vjohnnyc don't forget to like and subscribe thanks guys